Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. A lot of you said when I posted my empties video last that you wanted to see them more regularly again. So I have a monthly empties for April. <laughs> And in keeping with the last video I posted on this channel, it's very casual. I'm filming on my phone. I bought this new case years and years and years ago, probably the first time I went to Las Vegas. I remember buying, I had a Blackberry, this is how long ago this was. Um, I remember buying from like a concession, a little stand in one of the malls or one of the hotels. Um, they were selling these like, they weren't phone cases, but they like stuck on to your phone. And the thing that stuck on, like the sticker, made your phone stick on to like flat surfaces like windows mirrors anything that was like a smooth surface so i've got you on a mirror right now um anyway i hadn't really thought very much about it until recently and i thought i wonder if you can still get things like that because it'd be really useful for the like, skincare videos to be able to just pop you on a mirror or while i'm out and about if i want to film something or take a picture just be able to like stick you on a window or whatever um lo and behold, they exist. If you are interested, I'll leave a link. It was just a cheap Amazon case, but if anyone knows of like a nice case, because this won't be incredibly protective, I wouldn't imagine. I'm all ears. Or stickers that you can just add to a regular case. Anyway, so I've got quite a few skincare-y bits to talk about. I still haven't filmed my Sephora haul, but we will talk a little bit about that because, um, well, the CeraVe SA Smoothing Cream, I ran out of this and thought I'm gonna purchase another one. I decided to buy the Ameliorate, which I do really like. I haven't used it in a while, but I kind of wanted to use it again just to kind of, so this is fresh in my mind and that's fresh in my mind. Which one do I like most? In the meantime, I've also started using this Soap and Glory Zing, the real Zing, uh, body sorbet, which I did not think was going to be the same as this kind of product. They all have smoothing acids in them. So they help to clear your skin, smooth any kind of um, KP or that like chicken skin situation that some of us get. Uh, they help with that kind of product and I've got lots in the mix right now that I'm trying. I once did a review video of multiple different ones of these and it's always spring summertime where I start to get really interested in getting very very smooth and soft skin. This is really really nice. I originally bought this quite a while ago. Um, Ella requested it. She wanted it because lots of people online use it for their face. It's a real, it, it, it's recommended as like a body cream. I wish I left a little bit of it to show you the texture of it but it's a real thick cream and um just if you look online loads and loads of people use it for acne uh it was not for her she didn't enjoy it at all um so i took it and i started using it on my body again kind of off and on and then recently i used it loads mostly i'll show you exactly where i get the most kind of brushiness i would say it's like here like at the sides of my legs this is higher than i would shave because i always used to think well maybe it's like shaving you know the backs of your legs but here, on like the very, very tops of my legs, I will get um, like spots. And then occasionally I'll still get them on my back because I'm just prone to that kind of thing, more so on my body than I am um, on my face, I think, even as a kid. Uh, and that is a really, really good product. I really like the Ameliorate as well. This is also doing wonders. So I might do you a little updated spring, summer, smooth skin, but I'm finished with that. Man, we're three minutes in going to be a long video um this is the ritual of her mum from rituals one of my absolute favorite fragrances i've had several of these body are they called bodies oh no just a body cream i wanted to say body souffle man it smells so good again can't really tell you much of the texture of it but it's a little goes a really really long way it stretches so it's relatively expensive middle of the road when you look at expensive body creams but it's one that i wouldn't mind repurchasing partially because the price point I don't think is quite as bad as some of the more luxury ones but also a little goes a really long way so we just need a little bit can do all of my legs my body everything it's not one of those things that is really really rich and thick and it sits on your skin it's kind of thinner and so it will it will travel um but the scents are really what I buy that for it's a really nice lotion the effect is really nice on my skin but the, the fragrance and it is so strong that if you put it on you can smell it all over the house which for me is a plus, might not be a plus for you. Um, Burt's Bees Body Lotion. This is the Sensitive Skin with Shea Butter. I don't know if there's a particular type at all, but this I wouldn't even rate, to be honest. It was just like a regular body lotion. You may as well buy whatever the cheap one is that you can find at the, at the supermarket because this just wasn't all that at all. Um, I've been a little bit obsessed with Aussie shampoos recently. I've got a massive one of the Mega 
in the bathroom right now. Um, but since I've had my hair done again, since I've had my hair highlighted, I think I maybe need to go back to maybe more the Miracle Moist. If anyone can recommend any good um, shampoo and conditioner for blonde hair, it's been a minute it's been a minute um, and it ha it's definitely feeling drier this time than it has previously. I've been tempted to give Olaplex a glow, a glow, a go. I know it's had some tough times in the news recently, um, but the way my hairdresser explained it to me, I didn't really understand what Olaplex did, but I've never used it before. She doesn't use it in her salon. Um, but the way she explained it to me was basically it, it, anything like bleach will um, make your hair porous so it kind of leaves holes in your hair and Olaplex fills those holes in so it doesn't stop bleach from doing what it's going to do it doesn't stop bleach from creating damage in your hair but it fills in the holes so that it's still elastic and it's not um, brittle it's not as dry because it's kind of it's put the thing back in it's kind of put the the protein or whatever it is back into the hair but it's still filled with a product it's not it's not repaired it, you can't undo the damage. So what she was saying to me was all these people that are talking about Olaplex and saying, oh, it's ruined my hair. If you keep using something that is only supposed to be used maybe on a professional basis or very, very sparingly, and they're using it really, really often, then it's gonna overfill those areas and it's gonna break because those holes are already filled up. And if you don't allow them to kind of, I don't know if the product wears away, it must. Um, and wait for that to fill them back up again, then you're overfilling them and that is what's breaking their hair. That is how she explained it to me. And she's a professional, so I believe her. Um, and that kind of sold it to me, to be honest. I thought, well, that's something that maybe I could use once in a while just to um, add a little bit of strength to my hair. But it made me understand a bit more what the product actually does. So any, any suggestions, I'm all ears. But I love the Aussie shampoos and conditioners when my hair's just kind of like normal. I think it's just having a dry moment while it's like, what have you done to me? We don't do these things. Um, tons of skin and me's that I gathered from around the house. I've probably got more that I didn't find. I have one of these every month, obviously. Ella also uses them. Can't recommend them enough. In fact, I haven't sent my, um, if you use skin and me, you'll know, you're supposed to send in an update of this is what my skin's looking like, I think once every six months. I did that the first time and I haven't done it again. And I keep thinking, oh, I've got to do that, got to do that. But they were just sending, sending, sending. And um, eventually they've sent me, I think they've sent me three emails in a row. They're sending me text messages now. They're like, we cannot give you another one until you show us what your skin looks like. So I think that's pretty good because it feels kind of responsible on their part. They're sending me relatively high level of tretinoin. Um, they want to make sure that it's doing what they want it to be doing, but also maybe it's not causing any harm so I'm gonna I'm going to send I'm not I'm not gonna send it today because I've got makeup on now but I'll send it tomorrow I will I'll send it tomorrow um I possibly need to reduce the amount of tretinoin because my skin's becoming a little bit more sensitive these days and um I don't know whether or not it can handle quite that level of active ingredients every single day something I finally used up I was saving this because it's so nice but it was just like kind of a travel size something I finally used up recently because the skin in me was making my my skin a little bit flaky do you know I don't know if it was the skin in me or if it was the weather or what it was um but it's not now I kind of that passed and I'm still using the skin in me so but I am buffering it with other products I don't know um, but I reached for lots of kind of ceramide type products, which are supposed to help repair your skin barrier if you've damaged your skin barrier with products or some such. Uh, so I used the ceramide in liquid from Dr. Jart. This is a really nice toner. If you like the idea of putting on a toner, but you don't want to be using like glycolic acids and active ingredients and things that are supposed to smooth or like peel or whatever, if your skin's quite sensitive, this is beautiful. If you've ever tried an essence, I've recently repurchased from Yes Style. I used to have this essence from, oh, what was the brand? Something skin, I can't remember. Uh, that really narrows it down. But it was like a tonic. And I remember the first time I used it, I felt like, I felt like the first time you use moisturizer, like, oh my God, my skin really needed that. And this is very, very similar to that. You put it on, it's like um, a real thin lotion. Uh, you know, like a, imagine like a simple tonic, you know, from when you were young before all of the skincare and makeup brands became what they are right now, you used to have very, very small options, uh, a limited option, sorry. And one of the things I remember was um, simple. So my mum used to get me um, like a simple cleanser, toner and moisturiser. And I remember the toner was like a thin, 
it felt like a thin moisturizer like a watered down moisturizer that's kind of what this feels like something between that and like a gel formula you put it on and your skin is just like immediately oh it feels so good i'm actually considering buying the full size of this for times when my skin just needs a little bit of extra hydration it's so so nice i'm not as keen on the ceramidin lotion the one that comes in the tube that's like um yellow and white but they have brought out a tub and i'm i'm interested to try that i just didn't quite like the texture quite as much the, the ceramidin stuff but this was really really nice um oh i've got finally i have had this for years so many years it could have been 10 years smashbox photo finish priming water i don't think that this is the lid that it came with i think at some point i must have changed this or maybe something came off this because i think it was all black but i finally used the rest of this the other day i can't even tell you anything about it honestly because i have been working on this for so long it's from the days of priming waters being this might have been the first priming water that's how old this is um and setting sprays and stuff were not what they are now so i remember just using it occasionally being like mm, it's fine um but i was never absolutely bowled over by it what i ended up using it for in the end was to spritz my beauty blender if i couldn't be bothered to go to the bathroom i was just like oh i'll just put a little bit of water on it you know laziness so i i wouldn't recommend buying that again um there are other things that i like i love the pixie priming oil i mean i'm really on the way to finishing this this is the most I, I, it's incredible i will absolutely repurchase this love that priming oil um love things that like hydrate before i put my my makeup on but not so much something that's going to make it a deer that's probably an age thing though um i finally used the earth hyber hyber earth harbor marina biome brightening ampoule this was very very nice i had no idea how expensive this was so i think i got this in my fabfitfun i haven't had fabfitfun haven't had fabfitfun for many months probably 18 months i was considering getting it again and i went through the stuff that i'd got through it before the stuff i was most pleased with wasn't makeup or beauty stuff it was um well that's not true i did find dry bar um conditioner like a leave-in conditioner through that and i really love that but everything else has been like home stuff so i've got these blankets I'll show you i have quite a few of these blankets this one is specifically my office blanket if you have a dog you will appreciate why this is my blanket only my blanket it's never been in the washing machine yet because it doesn't need to go in the washing machine because it doesn't smell like dog nobody eats on it it's just my blanket and occasionally in the bedroom but it's just mine uh and the brand is unhide which i think is ellen DeGeneres' brand so the idea is that it's not real fur unhide like the hide of an animal uh but it's so soft so incredibly soft we have them in various colors um lee also has his own special blue one that is under the bed that nobody touches that is again soft soft the dog doesn't have it no one eats around it we have retained two really nice ones every other one went downstairs they were beautiful they went through the washing machine they were never quite the same and um they never quite didn't smell of dog again it's the problem with all blankets when you've got animals but that was really the, the main thing when i think what did i get from fabfitfun that i loved i think oh i love those unhide blankets but I didn't love a lot of other things. Man, that was a long way to tell you. I got this and I've had many expensive skincare products over the years that I've got in boxes like that or in PR and had no idea how expensive they were. And I was using them like, yeah, then it's fine. Um, and then when it came to like talking about it or reviewing it, I would look it up and be like, holy moly. So I think this is like 50, $60, I wanna say. I could be completely making that up and I'm filming on my phone so I can't Google it. But it was pricey, whatever it was. It was nice, but I would never have known it was an expensive product. And sometimes I think that's interesting because if you buy an expensive product or I'm sent an expensive product and I know the price of it ahead of time, I look at it differently. And I'd like to think that I look at it expecting more. And so I'm harder on it in terms of a review. However, I think realistically, I probably look for it to do something. Whereas with this, I had no idea what it was. In fact, it might not have been FabFitFun. I might've got it from a different box because I don't think I've had it for 18 months. Anyway, um, I used it and was like, oh yeah, this is nice. But I didn't, I, there was no predisposition for anything. I didn't know anything about it in advance. So I just, 
I wasn't looking for any specific kind of results and I just found it a bit meh. And I wonder if actually, if I'd known more about it, if I'd have been like, oh wow, it's doing this. You know, it's so hard to be objective even when you try. Um, so it, it's nice, but I wouldn't purchase it because it's it's expensive and it's like an oily serum. So it was hydrating, but I just, I feel like I've got other things that do similar things. Um, ahem, the La Roche Posay Tullerane. This was something that again, I was using when my skin was super dry. It was nice, but again, with La Roche Posay products, I often think they are, I pull them out when I need them, when I need something simple, I need something because my skin is playing up. I want something that is going to soothe. And so I'm never that impressed. The Cica Plus Balm is fantastic, but again for that, it like helps to soothe, it helps to nourish and hydrate when your skin is in a bad way. But it's not something that I get excited about because it's just something that's like, oh yeah, it's like E45, you know? You use it, it does what it needs to do, but it's not exciting to purchase and it's not like, oh wow, it did this amazing thing to my skin. So this is a nice moisturiser. If you're looking for something that is um, really simple, soothing, and it's gonna be nice on your skin, but it's not exciting. Just depends on who you are as a consumer, I suppose. Um, this I put in here, but it's actually full of stuff because I thought if I never put it in my empties, I'll never mention it. The Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. I used this all up, uh, really, really liked it. It's a nice, again, basic moisturizer, very hydrating, but thin and it absorbs into your skin. It doesn't leave a lot behind, really nice under makeup as well. But I was using it as my like last step in my summer, um, like spring, summer makeup routine last year. At the moment in here I have, oh, um, this is, and it's got a brush in there that perhaps doesn't need to live in there. Um, it's my ultrasound gel for my new face. So I actually put a load of ultrasound gel, just cheap ultrasound gel into there. I haven't used my new face for a few weeks because someone told me that um, the ultrasound gel might be what was making my skin so dry. So I stopped as a bit of an experiment and could have been true, could have been true. Um, but it was way cheaper than buying any of the other more expensive ones and it's just easier to have in a pot and you can apply it with a brush and beep beep beep. I'm gonna definitely pull that out again later because um, again I want to see was it that was it not that I don't know. Um, the Revitalift from L'Oreal I don't know where the lid went but I've really enjoyed using this. I've got this which is the nighttime one or it's what it's not the nighttime one I don't think but I would use this at night time. Oh it's actually the hydrating day cream but I used this at night time. I'll tell you what I love this for most, my chest. I think it must have silicones in it. I don't actually know, I must Google it. And maybe now I'm thinking about it because it's a day cream, maybe it does have silicones in it and it's a really good base for makeup. But I would put on all these body creams and I'm, I'm real obsessive about like face, backs of hands, neck, chest. That is my entire skincare routine. Also when I do that, you can see how tan I've gone with my bronzer today. Let's pretend my skin, my face is the same color as my neck. Um, so I'm, I love my skincare all over. And then weirdly this part, like my shoulders, I like those to be really smooth as well. And that was something that I noticed with this from Soap and Glory. So smoothing, crazy smoothing. So I was putting it on everywhere, all my moisturizers, and I was like, oh, I'm not really getting the smoothness on my chest that I want. Then I pulled this out. This was amazing. I'm gonna to have to Google it as soon as I finish filming this. And if I find out anything, I'll put it in the description with all the links and stuff. I'll just annotate this one. I found that this made the skin on my chest and my neck feel the most plump, almost immediately. It was absolutely incredible. I am, I'm definitely, definitely gonna repurchase this. I may go out of my way to find the night one now um, because I didn't realize this was the daytime one. I do have the daytime one with SPF 50. I really like that one as well. I have that in rotation um, to wear underneath makeup. If you are looking for something that is like a, a real heavy duty moisturizer, but you want it to have SPF 50 in it. And I realized we're supposed to have SPF 50 in a separate thing. Great, fantastic. If you can do that every single day, good for you. But in my opinion, the most effective SPF 50, or the most effective SPF rather, is the one that you're gonna wear every single day. So if you are unlikely to use a single SPF, like a separate SPF every single day, but you are absolutely 100% going to use a moisturizer that claims to have, have SPF 50 in it, use the moisturizer. It's, it's a great idea to go and buy all these separate products, but if you don't actually use them, then they're not effective. So just buy the thing 
that you think you will actually use because that is literally better than nothing. Um, so I love the L'Oreal one of these with the SPF 50 on it. Again, very, very, um, it feels thick when you put it on really like nice to apply, very light but nice fragrance. Um, and it gives you that kind of plump feeling. Both of these products feel exactly the same way, but this on my chest, cannot rave enough about it. Now I actually bought the Sol de Janeiro Elastic Cream. This is the Beha Floor, I'm gonna say. Is everybody obsessed with this fragrance or what? Me and my daughter cannot get enough of it to the point where she bought, cause it's supposed to be like the Baccarat Rouge, which is quite pricey. Um, and I can never find this in stock in the spray because I wanted to buy it from Sephora the other day because they had a 20% off and I was like this is the time but they didn't have it in stock um so my daughter bought like a knockoff perfume that smells like this my entire house smells like this all the time now <laughs> it's a nice fragrance and it's so unusual a fragrance for me to like because it's quite powdery I just can't put my finger on it it smells like something it's so nostalgic to me like I've had a perfume that smells like this and I just don't know what it was but I, when I first used this, I was like, whoa, like I know this scent. It drove me a little bit crazy. Anyway, the fragrance is incredible. The moisturizer itself is just a bit meh. I, I wasn't really impressed. It wasn't even as hydrating as the original, the like yellow one. Um, and to say that this was for the chest, I put it on, I didn't feel any of that like plumping, nothing. My all time favorite was Lovely Jubblies from Lush. That was great. Very, very similar to the L'Oreal. I would put it on and immediately, it just kind of felt like, plump you know like that plump from just getting out of the bath feeling that like your skin kind of feels expanded that's what it felt like this just didn't give me anything nice fragrance wasn't impressed by it at all um and over the course of using it didn't see any like built up effects either so just generally disappointed i'm glad that i only bought a small one of these but i'm definitely going to buy the spray because the fragrance is incredible um lastly i don't know if this is in here because I've actually used it up, but I think that it is, unfortunately. The Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. I'm not sure you can even buy this anymore. They used to sell this as a little um, mini like duo in Sephora and it came with the black and the white. Everybody preferred the black. <laughs> Everyone was always online like, oh, which one do you prefer? Hoping that they could buy two and trade off, but everyone always preferred the black. It's such a nice fragrance. I can't, I think I've probably got the very smallest amount left in here. I'm just gonna leave this on my desk actually. Mike, can you, can you, do you love my very messy desk? It's just how I live. Oh, it's so nice. And I'm not even gonna tell you how it smells because I'm horrible at that. But if you're interested, Google it. I'm not sure it's still available. I'm pretty sure it's not. And I don't think you could ever buy it in a full size, but it's so lovely. And um, again, super nostalgic because they were like the days where I used to go to, I feel like there was a minute where we went to New York or Vegas like every other year which maybe we're doing again now I don't know I don't know but it just felt like really on the bounce um and we were always there in January time so I would get a uh some kind of deal because it your birthday month with Sephora you'll get something and it's oh it just reminds me of that time lastly I want to tell you what's on the back of my chair because it's just a red thing Lee bought this for Milo the other day um, I think you must have bought it from Adidas. We buy most things from Vinted, so that's why I'm questioning it. Um, and it was in the sale. If you are a Disney person, Disney did a Disney X Adidas range, which is really cute. Anyway, bought it for Milo. It's too big for Milo, but it's perfect for me. Who knew? It must be oversized because it's like UK 12 to 13. Although, as I said to him at the time, these are the benefits of not having big boobs because... I'm obviously built like a teenager. As I said, somewhere along the lines, I will try to list and link everything for you below if stuff's still available, who knows? Um, and I will definitely keep this up because I have been moving through a lot of stuff. I've been really on a kick of try and use what you've got. Um, I also got a request the other day to go over my uh, storage in here because the way I have everything now is just perfect. Since I swapped the rooms around, um, because Ella's got my old office and I've got her old bedroom at the end of last year, this has just been so much better in terms of like being able to reach everything and how I've moved everything around. It's not fantastic for the background, but you know what? Who cares? Because when you when you tune into a video to watch me talk about the stuff I've used up, do you really care that you can see all of my work screens and stuff in the background? You don't care. You know, that's not what you tune in for. I don't know why you do, honestly, but it's not that. Um, but I've now got other storage back here, all of my makeup stuff, 
directly in front of me so when I'm doing my makeup I can pull out things and be like oh I'm gonna try something completely different I don't have to have to think about like oh well, what maybe I can currently access all of my makeup and it's definitely encouraging me to just use more what I've got and be like hmm I really really do want to buy some stuff from Merit that's my current, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, you don't need it. It's so expensive, but every time I see someone talking about it, I'm like, I think I need it, I think I need it. I don't need it. Everything that I've seen, I have something that does that job. But I need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. But I did just buy a load of stuff from Sephora, so watch this space for that haul and uh, thank you for watching if you haven't already and you've lasted this long uh, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one bye